All right, in this video, I'm going to show you the best way of building a list of thousands of software companies um, basically within uh, a few minutes. So first things first, Crunchbase is by far the best database for software companies. It categorizes them properly um, as opposed to, say, for example, something like LinkedIn or Apollo. Um, but the workflow in terms of like an overview of it is basically pull the list of leads and companies from, uh, from Crunchbase then enrich in Apollo, or you can also enrich in Clay if you want as well. Enrich in Apollo, find the emails, find the contacts within there, and then take it from there, put it in your sequencer, etc. All right, so I'm going to show you just the like first step, which is the crunch base side of things. Um, so what we're going to do is we are going to just very simply type in SAS, right? This is a very generic way of searching for it. Obviously, you can do all of the different keywords and everything like that. But we're just going to keep it super broad. So the 33,000 uh, results for SAS. Um, now in terms of the number of employees, probably going to keep it, let's just say, for example, for this example, below, between, uh, 11 and a hundred, right? So we've got 14,000. Um, and then we can also filter by when they were founded, actively hiring, things like that. Um, we've got signals, we've got contacts, right? But we're not going to use any of those things here. We're just building the main list of companies so we can export those companies and then put them into Apollo so that we can enrich them in Apollo. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to um, keep this search like super broad. Obviously, you can, you know, change it up a little bit. You can put your headquarters location in all the kind of regular stuff that you would find in any other database or prospecting tool in terms of like filtering leads. But for this case, we're just going to keep it super broad and just do it like this. And the way you do this is you'll then go over to um, where is it? lists. Uh, one second, my thing was in the way. So uh, what you're gonna do is come over to organization name, you're gonna click and you're gonna select all, you're gonna make sure that you select a thousand results. So you can only uh, select a thousand one time in uh, in Crunchbase, um, but the ways, there's a way to get around it. So for example, if you wanted to pull all 14,000, you would have to do it 1,000 at a time. So you'd have to do 14, 15 times. Um, and then we're gonna click save to list, list. So make sure that these are selected, save to list, um, and then create new list. Uh, save entries as list, and then we're just going to go test SAS list A, and then you want to just call it whatever you do, and then create. Cool. And then now that we've got the list, we're going to go back to our search. Um, so we go straight back to our search, uh, and then we're going to do the same thing, except we're going to uh, basically save the next 1,000, because this time we're only saving able to save the first 1,000. So we're gonna save the next 1,000. The way that we do that is we come down to here, we go to notes, lists, and tags, exclude from list. So we're going to uh, add in uh, test list A, and then it will basically remove all of the ones that we've already pulled. So you can see 1,000 have already gone down. We would click here, save to list, uh, and then we'll create new list. And then we can SAS test B, for example, and then create. Cool. And then once that's been created again, we do the same step again. Um, and you would just come over to here and you would just do uh, test, uh, test, test B. And then it would basically remove the next 1000. Um, hold on one sec. I know why I didn't because I only saved a thousand, uh, hundred of them. But yeah, we would want to make sure that again, make sure that this is selected because otherwise only 50 are going to be selected. So give that a second uh, and then save this to list. And then we're going to go to test, test B. Uh, and then it would succeed the limit. So we're just going to save it as a new one. So create new list. So I'll choose the list, uh, test, T, great. And then, so that would create the next list. And then we're going to go back and do the same process again. And then that would uh, test, test, C. And then that should go down and then yeah so you get the point anyways so once you've got your list so you'd have to just see that 14 times um and then you'll basically have to scrape and export uh, all of the 14 lists um the plan that we're on doesn't uh, allow us to export to csv you can do that but it's pro um, if you want to keep your cost down on something like this um you can just use instant data scraper so you can just come over to lists um and then uh, all lists and then come over to uh say list a we'll start with that and then we would just make sure that we select everything. Um, and also just make sure that you've actually got the uh, website. Because I don't think the website, yeah. So make sure you've got the website, make sure you've got the LinkedIn. Because then if you if you have those things, you need the website for sure. Because um, that's where we'll upload it into Apollo um, so that we can enrich. And it'll also just make your life easier if you're going either to Apollo or Clay so that you can basically add the, like, um, it, it can basically find the contacts within that company. Um, and then we just go apply changes. 
And then once we've done that, we would um, just basically scrape. So we go instant data scraper, we locate next button, then we do the thing. So click next, make sure you click next a couple of times, do that whole thing, do start crawling. Um, and then it should come up with all of the columns that you need or columns that you want. And then you can obviously just delete a bunch of them if you don't need them. Um, so let it do its thing, let it scrape, um, and just give it two seconds whilst it does that. I'm not sure when the camera's gone, but I'll keep it running for now. So yeah, so I'm just going to pause it now just so it doesn't take too long. But yeah, you can see, um, obviously we don't want this column, we don't want this column, random column, um, vintage reality, I think this is uh, industry. We can go and rename these things. Uh, yeah, uh, company name. Cool. Go and rename these things. Uh, oh, that's not actually the industry. This is the industry. Um, and then again, yeah, you just want to go through and just delete all the columns that you don't want. I don't know why it gives you a bunch of extra ones. I think there is a way to change it, but I'm not sure off the top of my head. So just go through and delete everything. Just get rid of it. 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 Oh, we've got some bloody problems. Jesus Christ. Okay, anyways, the only one that we actually really need, so I'm just going to copy all um, and just put it into a list. So we just copy all, go to here, create a good new, create a new list, copy paste, Let's do that, and then SAS test, SAS test, cool. Um, so we've got this, and then the main one that we need is the uh, website. So we're just going to come over to here. And we're just going to copy the whole, all of this column on the website. So, so far we've only scraped a few. We would copy paste that. We would come over into Apollo. We would delete these three pre filters that I've got here for some reason. I don't know why they keep coming up. Uh, we come over to company. Um, and then we can go include, exclude list of companies. And then we can just literally copy paste the list in. We go save and search. And then you can see that it will find all of the prospects in here that um, you want to contact and then you can just filter by obviously job title and kind of like go through it as you would um, if you were just doing a regular search on Apollo. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. And then once you've got this list, you can then export that again using Instant Data Scraper. I've got another video that goes through that, so we'll go through it today. But yeah, that's how you build a list of thousands of SaaS companies and the contact and then find their emails. So you'll have to obviously save this to a list, access their emails, or you can export this to Play um, so you can get a waterfall and you can find even more emails that then are accessible within Apollo. Um, so yeah, that's how you do it. I hope you found this video useful. Um, if you are interested in learning more about our services for doing done for you outbound, um, and basically get more clients through cold email, um, then you can click the links in the call below to make sure that you are either a marketing agency already has clients, has testimonials, has case studies. Um, if you have those things then feel free to book a call. Uh, minimum that we work with is 10,000 a month. Um, and we do the whole setup and, and basically get everything running. Um, pricing starts from 500 bucks a month. So if that sounds like you'd be interested, then please put a call below and I'll speak to you in the next one. Peace.